For the first total solar eclipse seven years, exactly one week from today. Now here in Lincoln, we'll see a partial eclipse. Optometrists are urging eye protection if you plan to join in on the fun next week. Channel 8's Andy Elman spoke to an expert about how crucial it is to protect your eyes from the harmful UVs. These eclipse glasses are important for protecting your eyes during solar eclipse conditions, and they're so important it could be the difference of having permanent eye damage or not. Dr. Novak recommends wearing UV protection regardless of a solar eclipse or not. See, at all times we recommend UV protection for the sun to protect your eyes, but especially during this eclipse. So we're definitely in the partial eclipse this time. A few years ago we are in the full, but so there's never a good time right now to take off the safety glasses. Looking at the eclipse without protective eyewear can have serious consequences for your eye health, like vision distortion and even a sunburn on your eye. We've all seen like uh, the pictures like when you take like a magnifying glass and hold it from the sun and like start a fire. That's the same way your eye will work. So the natural lens in your eye can focus the light on the retina and it will literally burn a hole in your retina. And it can only take just a few seconds to do it. So even popping those safety glasses off for just a couple of seconds and looking at it, it's a risk of doing that. Regular sunglasses aren't going to cut it for the eclipse. You want to make sure you have the safest option, glasses that are specifically designed for this. The, uh, the marking for those lenses will be, will be right in here. And you want to look for this number specifically. That's how you know that they're rated correctly for the, uh, for the eclipse. Side effects of looking at a solar eclipse without these glasses can include blurred vision as well as blind spots in one or both eyes. If you have these symptoms, it's recommended to go to an optometrist. Reporting in the newsroom, Annie Elming, Channel 8 News. Still ahead, do you think?